Hey, welcome to the WP Crowd Showcase, where we showcase products and services uh, that people on the WP Crowd actually are part of. Hey, my name is Royce Yvonne. I am a enterprise level developer. Most of you know me if you've been watching the WP Crowd. I host basically every single podcast, as well as you'll find me around WordCamps handing out WP Crowd stickers, as well as Carl Board stickers. So um, definitely uh, been around WP Crowd since its inception. Uh, today, I want to talk about a pet project I have. I call it Easy Data. I am not really creative with names. That's literally the best name I could come up with. So it's easy, like 1990s hacks or code, easy data.io. Um, I'll screen share in a minute, but just to give you a, a basic elevator pitch, Easy Data is a way to collect data from your website, uh, very customized. And the unique thing that I want to start implementing is uh, data analysis. So. While something like Google Analytics will help you analyze your traffic uh, on the site, um, it can get pretty, not really annoying, but it can get pretty intense once you start going into more advanced, uh, if you need to start creating advanced data models or you need to start tracking advanced events. Uh, the whole point of easy data is to make that whole process easy and then eventually analyze. Um, so this is the easy data website, as I said, easydata.io. Um, just to get started to show you what we do, again, we collect data. Um, and the real benefit with the WordPress realm is I have WordPress integration. So we have a WordPress plugin already out there. Um, I'm gonna try to put it into the repo uh, since I do offer a free tier for uh, the service. But essentially you install it. Uh, the plugin itself gives you a PHP SDK to work with. So as you can see, um, you can easily create data uh, to your to your data sort, um, as well as JavaScript. Um, I will say that I tried to create the PHP one first and I had a problem with caching. So that's why I created the JavaScript SDK. Uh, and just to show you how it works, basically each piece of data that you send over to Easy Data for storage is actually what we call an item. So it's an item of data. It stores a value as an integer. Um, and then two more, two more integers and then two more strings. So essentially you have a value, uh, two pieces of, of uh, integers or numbers, and then you can do two more pieces of data as string, strings. Um, each piece of data besides the value can actually be customized as far as the label goes so you don't get confused uh, what it is. Um, once you have the items, um, actually theoretically before you create the items you create a grouping so you create a group and that's the grouping of the data and that's going to help easy data analyze it. So basically um, you create a group, you tell it whatever you want, you tell it, you call it, give it a description, and then you can start sending data to it. So I'm going to walk you through our dashboard. So I'm going to go to the data dashboard. And this is uh, the work in progress. Don't mind me. It's, I'm a developer. Uh, I love the way things work, not necessarily the way things look. Um, so I have three groups of data here. Uh, one is my podcast views is what I called it. So basically every time someone comes onto our website and just looks at a podcast on our Adobe Crowd website, it stores a value of one for one view and then the title. Um, other groups I have are plugin suggestions. So on our main website, we actually have plugin integration as well. So right now we're integrated with Caldera. Um, but if you want to suggest a plugin, feel free to go onto the website and put it in. And this is a Caldera form, which then feeds into this group. Um, so data analysis right now is twofold. We have graphs, which basically every time you create a graph, it's I want a total of X grouped by Y displayed as one of these options. I'm going to be adding more uh, kind of graphs and chart types shortly. Um, but just to give you an example, total value grouped by plugin for the easy plugin suggestions. Basically, this is one recommendation was put in and it was for easy digital downloads. So I created a pie chart and eventually as more people start suggesting plugins for me to integrate with, this pie chart will start showing all the plugins based on how many have been suggested. Um, I also have tables currently. So tables are actually data tables which are sortable. Um, for this one, it's again, uh, views, uh, sum of views uh, by title. So this is what that, uh, my, pay, my uh, podcast view group. So I can actually sort this by views and see that 
uh, episode 61, uh, since I put this in, has seen 738 hits. Um, and then 60 has 59, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not saying this is an analytics um, competitor. I'm not trying to be, compete with Google Analytics or anything like that, but this is just a basic way to show off what you can do. Um, I'm eventually gonna start adding in more ways to do data analysis. Uh, I'm gonna ping um, a lot of fancy smart people uh, to do crazy regex kind of stuff and maybe figure out how the best way to customize your data. But that's it right now in a nutshell. As I said, I have Caldera integration right now. Um, it works pretty simply. Just all you have to do is add a processor to your form, tell it what the group ID is, the value, and then you can actually use merge fields so part of your form can uh, actually fill out all that data. That's easy data. Um, I have a free version right now, as well as if you check out the data blog, uh, my latest entry actually has a coupon code. I think it's called Apex Beta, uh, which allow you free access to any one of the subscription models. Um, basically, each subscription tier just gives you more and, more and more groups. Definitely check it out when you have a chance, and uh, keep on coming back to it as we add integrations.